everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lee and welcome to day two of your yoga challenge. Today we're going to be working on opening up the hips and releasing stress, releasing tension and really grounding down into our root energy. If you have props available to you, any blocks or any thick pillows and you have tight hips, make sure to have them near you. You won't need any props but if you need that extra assistance, make sure you have something you can place underneath your hips nearby. Before we get started, if this is your first time to my channel, make sure you like, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below when you're done with the practice. When you're ready, roll out your mat, have your props near you if you plan on using them, light up some incense, and maybe play some relaxing music. Let's get started in a wide and bound angle pose. So if you're not seated yet, go ahead and come to a seated position and we'll bring the bottom of the feet to touch. Release your hands on the outer edges of your feet. We'll draw those heels in as close as you can towards your pelvis. Draw your shoulders back, big breath in through the nose. Exhale through the nose as you lean your chest forward, keeping a long spine here without collapsing. Once you can't reach any further, go ahead and relax your chin towards your chest, maybe bringing your forehead to the ground. We'll set an intention for the practice since we are working on the hips, on releasing any stress, any stagnant energy. Just ask yourself what you would like to release, what's stressing you out in this moment. What's something that's occupying space in your mind that you would like to release and make more space available for? Notice if you're tensing up your shoulders, go ahead and relax them. We'll take an inhale, gazing forward, and let's stretch the fingertips in front of us and walk the hands over to the right side of the room. Fold forward. Big breaths as you move through to center and walk the hands over to the left side. And you might feel that stretch on the right side of your upper body. Breathe into that space if it's feeling tight. And slowly walk the fingertips back to center and then start walking them in, propping yourself up. We'll bring the knees together, bring the hands behind your body and then windshield wiper your knees side to side. When you're ready, come into your tabletop position, onto the hands and knees. We'll tuck the toes in and then press up and back into downward facing dog. Find your alignment, find the distance between your palms and your toes. Bring movement into the legs, bending one knee at a time, maybe swaying the hips side to side. And then start pressing evenly through your palm, through the base of your palm, the heel, through the fingertips, through the knuckles. Hips press up towards the sky. Lift the right leg high, flexing the toes down towards the floor. And then bend the knee open, bring your right heel towards your left glute, opening up the hip. Pressing the mat away. Exhale. Step that right foot down, opposite side. Left foot rises, three-legged dog. Flex those toes. Bend the knee. Bring your heel towards your right glute. Exhale. Step it down, downward facing dog. Lift the gaze forward. Big steps in between the hands, halfway lift, find your flat back. Exhale, fold forwards. 
slight bend in the knees to begin. Inhale, reach your arms high. Uddhva Hastasana, connect your palms. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back, draw your shoulders back. Exhale, step the hands down, and we're going to step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high behind you, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw that knee forward until your right foot steps in between your hands, low lunge, lower that back knee to the ground, and we'll sweep the arms up overhead. Now I want you to picture your pelvis rooting down towards your mat as you press evenly through that front foot. Deep breaths. Exhale, the hands down, frame your front foot, tuck those back toes in if they aren't already, step back, downward facing dog, paddle on your feet, find movement. Inhale, left leg high, feet flex. Exhale, draw the left knee forward. Step it in between the hands. If you need to grab your hands and draw that foot forward, go ahead and do so. Back knee on the ground. On an inhale, sweep your arms high. Ground your hips low. Press evenly through your top foot. Exhale, draw the hands down. Step it back. Downward facing dog. One breath. Inhale, gaze forward. Step the right foot in between the hands. Left foot follows halfway lift. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Take up space. Big stretch in the body. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, slide bend in the knees, step it back. Downward facing dog. One full breath. Really press those hips, tilt your tailbone up towards the sky. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, bend the knee forward, and this time we're going to step that right foot on the outer edge of that right hand. Knee on the ground, lizard lunge. Different options here. You can stay up on your palms if you have a block or a thick pillow. You can bring it down to rest your forearms on it, or you can simply bring your forearms to the ground. Keep that chest lifted and pressing forward. And relax the head. Two more deep breaths. Notice if that right knee is falling off to the side. Try to keep it glued towards your shoulder. Start to prop yourself up if you're on a block or on your forearms. Coming onto the palms. Back toes tucked in if they aren't already. Knee off the ground. Using the strength of your core, step that right foot back, downward facing dog. Shake it up. Inhale, left leg high, three legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, let your left foot land on the Outside of that left hand, lizard lunge, back knee on the ground. Take your variation of arms, whether that's on your palms, on a block, or on your forearms, relax your head down. As you're breathing through these poses, remind yourself of your intention, of what you want to release. And with each breath, 
Picture what your life would feel like if you did release all these things. What well, feelings would come with it? Two more breaths. On your next inhale, work your way onto the hands. Tuck those back toes in, knee off the ground. Use your core. Step that left foot back, downward facing dog, then one knee at a time. Press the chest back, hips high. Come into my favorite hip opener. We'll gaze in between the hands, bend the right knee, and we're gonna slide that right knee behind the right wrist coming onto the mat. And then your left toes are gonna reach towards your left wrist, kind of creating an angle here between the heel and the knee. And then slide your left leg back, pigeon pose. We'll take a moment to look back and make sure that back leg is coming from directly behind your hip. Option to use your block or your pillow here if you have it. If your hips are feeling really tight, you can go ahead and slide that block underneath for some support. So wherever you're at, big breath in, lengthen your spine. Exhale, walk your hands out, coming onto your forearms. Chin to the chest. your upper body to pave your shoulders cave in here walk back onto the hands move the block off to the side if you're using it and then we'll draw that right knee back into a tabletop spread the knees out wide and press the hips towards your heels, wide-legged child's pose. Forehead to the ground, heavy on the upper body. You can maybe rock side to side, massaging your forehead, opening the hips. On the next breath, bring yourself forward into that tabletop. We'll tuck the toes in, lift up and back, downward facing dog. Bend the left knee this time. We'll glide the left knee towards the left wrist, toes towards the right wrist, and slide your right leg back. We'll check in, make sure the leg is coming from behind the knee. Point those back toes. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold forward. Using your prop or simply folding onto the mat. This is a great moment to hear your breath. To notice if it's a little fast paced, or if it's slow and relaxed. Try equalizing your breath here. On the next inhale, walk yourself up onto the hand. And this time we're simply going to roll off to the left side and then bring that right leg around to the front. Awesome. Extend the legs, shake off the knees, we'll reach the fingertips forward and then roll all the way down onto the ground. We'll bring the spine flat on the ground, bend the knees in, make sure 
your tailbone is grounded down. And we're going to bring the bottom of the feet to face the ceiling or the sky if you're outside. Knees bent into a happy baby. Reach your hands for the outer edges of your foot. And we're working here on bringing the entire spine flat. And drawing the knees closer to the ground. Maybe swaying side to side. I'm getting a nice back body massage. When you feel ready, we'll slowly draw the knees into the chest, wrap your arms around, give yourself a big hug. And on your exhale, extend your legs long on the mat. Take up space, allow the toes to face outwards, and we'll relax the arms beside the body, palms facing high, and close your eyes if they aren't already, coming into Shavasana, a resting pose. This is where we receive all of the benefits of our practice, where we surrender to our thoughts, to our breath, to our sensations. Simply noticing your thoughts coming in and out without judgment, just as an observer. Start wiggle your toes, bring the movement back into your body. Wiggle through your fingertips. We'll draw the legs together and maybe take the arms up above, finding a movement that feels good. Find an arch in your spine as your chin draws down. And bring the knees in and roll onto the side of your body, whichever side. Resting on your hands for a second. And then press yourself up to a seated position. Inviting your eyes to remain closed. We'll come to Sukhasana, cross-legged. Palms together in front of the heart in Anjali Mudra. Spine is tall. Remind yourself of your intention one last time. And take a moment to thank yourself for showing up on your mat today, day two of our challenge. And together we bow in Namaste. Thank you for joining me on day two. I hope you feel great and relaxed. If you have any questions about the practice, if you're wondering a name of a pose, or if you maybe had some trouble getting into something, if something felt a little bit uncomfortable, leave me a comment down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Thank you for allowing me to guide your practice. If you'd like to support this channel, check out our Patreon page in the description box below. I'll see you tomorrow for day three.